Hi everyone, Kellen here with Astroptics. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a walkthrough and a tutorial on how to use the built-in ballistics mode that can be found on your HBX 1600B laser range finding binoculars or your handheld OTX 2400B laser range finder. This mode is ideal for hunters and shooters who are looking for absolute precision in their shots. What the mode does is it takes your preferred ammunition type as well as the range to your target and it provides you with fast and accurate elevation adjustments that can be provided in MILS or MOA. You can then take these adjustments directly to your scope turret and continue to shoot accurately at any distance. This mode is built to go up to 500 yards on our integrated models. If you're looking for accurate shots over 500 yards, we'd recommend checking out our OTX 2400A model. This one allows you to connect to our ballistic calculator app where you can input more data and get more accurate readings as you go further down the range. Before going into the menus, our laser range finder, we need to know exactly what ballistic profile we're trying to input. To determine this, we'll use our Master Ballistics chart. This can be found linked below the video or on our website product pages. Our goal with this chart is to find our specific ammunition type and its corresponding category. So let's say we're headed to the range and we're gonna use a Federal 308 partition round. We're gonna open up the chart, we'll scroll down to the Federal section and locate the 308 caliber ammunitions. We're looking in specifically for the partition type of round in 150 grain. Now, we, once we find it, we look to the far right column of our ballistics table to find the group number. This number is important because that is what we're going to be inputting into the rangefinder menus to let it know what ballistic data to output. In this case, we're going to be using ballistic group number 5, as denoted here on the far right. I'm going to be doing this demonstration with our HBX 1600B binoculars, although the process is identical on the OTX 2400B, so just follow along and you'll figure it out. First step, as always, is to turn on our device by selecting the range button. We're then going to open up our internal menu by holding down the mode button. We know that we are successfully into the menu when we see the yardage in meter symbol, or YNM, that flashing. We will hit our mode button once more to move to the reticle menu. You can cycle to your preferred reticle here by using the range button and then confirm your choice again with the mode button. This will move us into our ranging modes menu. Now we use our ranging button to cycle the modes until we see gun mode show up. Select this mode using the mode button. Now we see the option to input our ballistic profile that we determined earlier, in this case, group five. Each group has two variations denoted by the second number that you see. These variations will indicate at what distance you have sight zeroed in your rifle, either at 100 yards or 200 yards. Since I want to select ballistic group five, and I know my rifle is zeroed in at 100 yards, I'm going to hit the ranging button until I see the option that reads 5-1. And to select this option, I'm going to confirm with the mode button. After this, you will see the option to have your holdover data displayed in MOA or MRADS, denoted as MIL in your FOV. Choose whatever option suits you and your rifle best. It would be smart to coordinate this with the units of adjustment on your scope to ensure proper adjustments are taking place in the field. And that's it, we're done. This will remain the default profile in both laser rangefinders until you change it manually at a later date, regardless if you take the battery out or not. I know this process can seem a bit tedious at first, but I promise with a little bit of practice, it becomes very quick and seamless. I would recommend saving or printing out the master ballistics chart for later use if you use multiple types of ammunition and still want to get accurate ballistic data on them. I haven't gone as far as to writing in Sharpie on each of my ammunition boxes what ballistic profile they correlate to, so when I'm at the range I can quickly adjust this and still get accurate data instantly. If you don't see your particular round on our master ballistics chart, I would recommend doing a little bit of research and finding the most similar round on that chart and using that profile. If you have trouble with this, feel free to reach out to us and we can help you with this process. If you load your own ammunition, it's not going to be on the chart clearly. What you can do is send us a dope chart and then we can find what ballistic profile most closely correlates to your customized round and we can give you this information so that you can continue using this feature just as if you were buying something off of the shelf. 
that's all the information I have for today. If you found this useful, give us a like or a follow so you can keep up to date on our future tutorial videos. If you're interested in sales, promotions, other great hunting and golf content, give us a follow on your favorite social media platform. Just search for Astro Optics, I'm sure you'll find us. If you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, please feel free to comment or email me directly. I'd be more than happy to address any issues or make a new video on something else that you're curious about. Thanks for watching. As always, shoot straight.